I've got cabbage all over the floor. Hello everyone and welcome to a Christmas special of Cooking with Ant. And today is also a subscriber recommended video. Shoot him. Yes, that's right. Jingle Jackson, who I think is Lindsay on Twitter, last year, this was Christmas last year, suggested I make this for this year's Christmas. And even if you request a video a year ago, I will sometimes get around to doing it. So Lindsay suggested I make this snowman salad thing. And you might be thinking to yourself, what is a snowman salad thing? Well, this is it. This absolute and utter monstrosity that has clearly been made to sell Hellman's mayonnaise. That's the only reason this exists. This is by Hellman's to flog Hellman's mayonnaise. No other reason. Not because it's nice to eat or anything like that, because it's weird and you use a lot of mayonnaise. And spoiler alert, I didn't even buy Hellman's for this. I bought Tesco own because this was 60p a jar and Hellman's was about £3 a jar. So Hellman's, you can piss off. But anyway, let's try and make this horrible snowman monstrosity just in time for Christmas. I can't wait to surprise everyone at the Christmas dinner. Oh my god, they're gonna be thrilled. What is that? Okay, so our first step is to soften gelatin in cold water and stir over hot water until dissolved. So I need six envelopes of gelatin. Shove you into this bowl. Also, this feels like a lot of gelatin. Six envelopes. Ugh, it's pretty gross, but I'll do as I'm told. And then we're adding about 60 milliliters of cold water to this. Doesn't seem like a lot. That can't be right. I'll have to add more water than that. I got it right, quarter cup of cold water is 60 milliliters. 100% it's 60 milliliters. I did my research. That's not right, because that's not gonna dissolve. I'm gonna have to add more water to that. We're already off to a very bad start. I'm sure people lie on recipes just to make me look like an absolute ass, because I always seem to get it wrong, even though I follow all the instructions. Maybe the UK envelopes are a bit bigger than the American ones, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, this is foul. And this needs to go over the top of some hot water and like melt it down. It didn't say to boil the water or anything, so I'm assuming this will be all right. I guess we'll just stir and see what happens. I'm already hating this, absolutely hating it. Soften gelatin in cold water, stir over hot water till dissolve. Well, I don't think that's ever gonna dissolve. How the hell are you supposed to do this first step? I feel like I should have added hot water to it, but it said cold water. I think I'm gonna have to add some more water to it. That's not right. At this point, I'm just using my cooking expertise <laughs> to make this recipe work for us because so far it's not working at all. There's so many like chunky bits. I feel like I need to get a double boiler out for this. This isn't going to work at all, is it? Okay, take two. We're going to do it my way. Even though unusually my way is the wrong way, but I'm just going to have to trust myself. The only good thing about having too much gelatin is I'm not worried about it setting. I think that's one thing I was really worried about before making this video was the actual thing setting. But the amount of gelatin that's in here, I don't think I'm going to have any problems at all. I don't know whether the gelatin is going to affect the taste in the end and it's going to taste absolutely filthy, but we'll find out a little bit later. I say we'll find out a little bit later. I'll find out a little bit later when I have to shove this in my gob. Eat it! There we go. It's starting to dissolve now. See, I should be a food blogger. I should be the one making the recipes and telling people what to do because clearly I know more than the people who actually write these recipes. <laughs> they just give you misleading instructions, it's not fair. And then the people who try it and don't succeed think they're an idiot even though they followed all the instructions and it's not right and it's not true. Uh. You're not idiots, it's the people who write these stupid recipes. Okay, I think that's fully dissolved now. We'll put that to one side. Okay, so now we're mixing in three cups of Hellman's Real Mayonnaise. I'm just thinking this is gonna be a lot of mayonnaise. This is gonna be so much mayonnaise. And this is supposed to be a salad. It's not gonna be a very healthy salad. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I do like mayonnaise, so this doesn't freak us out too much. Don't know whether I like mayonnaise that much, but we'll soon see. Second cup, and third and final cup. Right, we we'll mix this in together, do we? <laughs> like, what am I making? Slop. Oh my god, filthy. Absolutely filthy. I also have a good feeling this bowl isn't going to be big enough. I might have to wash this bowl out and start using this one again because I'm not going to fit it all in there. There's so much to go into this. Yeah. I'll say this straight away, I am not excited about this recipe. I'm not excited about it at all. But what do we need now? Three teaspoons of salt. Why do you need to add salt? There's probably already loads of salt in this. One, two, three. 
and now it wants three pounds of cottage cheese cream style. <laughs> that can't be right. I don't think I bought enough. How many grams are in this? There's only 300 grams in this. Three pounds is 1,360 grams. I'm sure I, I, I did my measurement right as well when I went and got my shopping in. It wants three pounds. All right, well, this isn't going to get three pounds of cottage cheese. It's only going to get like 1.5. I, I, I read that recipe completely wrong, clearly. I don't even know whether I like cream cheese. Let me have a little try. It is what it is. It's not It's not that nice. It did say the cream kind, but it's lumpy for some reason. Have I bought the right thing? Oh, I bought cottage cheese. Did it want cottage cheese? Yeah, cottage cheese it did. Okay. Mine's just a little bit lumpy. That's fine. Another one in you go. I don't feel like I'm making this recipe right at all, but we'll just see what happens. Mix that together. Oh, the amount of fat that is in here is unbelievable. And now what do I need? So 12 cups of finely chopped cabbage, two medium heads of cabbage. Okay, so put you to one side. Got a couple of cabbages here. I'm not a massive fan of cabbage. I don't mind it when it's cooked, but not like raw cabbage. And it didn't tell us to cook it or anything. I'm not using a chopping board. My table's clean, don't worry. Lies. This is proper just gonna taste like fat. It's gonna be so cabbagey. Okay, let's get you all diced up. I'll chop it as fine as I possibly can. Does everyone like my expert cabbage cutting techniques? I'm a proper chef. To be fair, I should have really bought just pre-cut cabbage to save me the effort of cutting it all myself, but never mind. Like, why couldn't they have added literally any other ingredient other than cabbage into this? Like, even just a secondary ingredient, just to, like, take away from the cabbage of it all. I don't think I'm going to fit all this into this recipe. I think there's too much. Okay, I think that's all I'm doing. I just I can't be bothered to cook cabbage anymore. It's taken forever. I don't think I'm going to use all of this. And don't worry, I'm not going to waste it. I'll chuck it outside for like all the animals and the birds and stuff to eat because I love a bit of cabbage So I'm just gonna add as much of this into there am I got cabbage all over the floor You sloppy bitch! Okay, get our mixture back. Oh, I think it's already setting. Oh shit, better be quick Shove all this cabbage in. I'm tempted to mix this with my hands. Not enough space in the bowl Quickly mix it because I think it's starting to set. Oh, there's far too much cabbage in this. Oh, actually It's kind of working its way in now. It's not too bad. Probably squeeze a bit more cabbage in. I'll add a little bit more to be fair, it's actually smelling a bit better with the cabbage in, surprisingly. So I don't think the taste's gonna be too bad. I don't know about the construction of the snowman. Okay, that's fully mixed, it has to be. Right, let me wash my hands, because they're an absolute mess. Oh, flick that everywhere. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've got our mixture, we're going to keep the cottage cheese little pot. And this is going to act as the head. And we're going to pack this with the mixture. Just nice and tight. You're going to be the head of the snowman, so you better set. I think that's well packed. <sighs> Who invented this? Why? Why did someone invent this for? Such a ridiculous thing to make. And so much effort to go into it. I just, I would love to know what they were on when they decided to make a snowman out of mayonnaise, cabbage, and cottage cheese, and gelatin. And then we need to make the body of the snowman so we're gonna scoop more mixture into two smaller balls just fill it about halfway I could do with a bigger spoon couldn't I oh that's a big one and then into the second one as well there's a fly hanging around us go away where'd you even come from no get out my food you're gonna ruin it this isn't for you fly <laughs> I'm getting attacked by it. Right, I'm gonna quickly put these in the fridge to set before I end up planting a fly into it and accidentally eating a fly. <laughs> the fuck is that? I'm already attracting wildlife with this food. So pop all three of these into the fridge and we'll wait for them to set. Hopefully they will set with the amount of gelatin we've got in and then I suppose I'm constructing a snowman after that. So I'll see you in probably a couple of hours. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my mixture back and I'm pretty sure it's fully set. It feels very gelatinous and I suppose that's a good sign for this. Obviously, it's not a normal good sign to have gelatinous mayonnaise and cheese, but for this, it's looking good. So now I need to construct it. This is going to be so hard. Right, we'll go for this one first and just see if I can somehow get this out. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh my god, look at that! It's held a chip and everything, are you kidding? Oh my god, snowman, here we come! Right, second one. And if we flip, oh, there we go. Perfect. I've made a ball. And then this is the head, is it? The head's a little bit big. Should I chop a bit of that off? Oh, actually, I'll leave it. It doesn't really matter, does it? I'm gonna lift this up and show you, but it is very, very unstable. 
There we go. There's the body of the snowman and the head. What the hell? Right, I just need decoration and I want to do this as quickly as possible in case it all falls apart. Right, I need half a pepper for the top of the head. The jiggle on this is ridiculous. Look at the state of that. I don't want to jiggle it too much in case it all falls apart because it feels very fragile. I think it could have really done with some like toothpicks in it, but it didn't tell us to put any toothpicks in. Right, okay. He's your little hat snowman. Come on. In you get. Okay, hat done. Oh, it's proper tilted. Quickly. Right, I need a mouth. How am I even gonna like? Do I just shove it in? Give it to me! I assume I'm just shoving it in. That mouth's never gonna stay in. You're not gonna see the detail until I'm able to show you because I need to obviously see what's happening. Right, I need olives and I absolutely hate olives. How did theirs look? It looked a mess. Shop. One in half, and there for the eyes, and then some more olives as buttons. This has to be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever made. I'm just saying that right now. And I've made some crazy shit on this channel. Perfect. And now I need a nose, and I'm not going to be able to fit the nose on. So a nose needs to be a cherry tomato. In fact, it's not going to be a cherry tomato. I'm going to make it a pepper, because I know a cherry tomato's not going to stay on. You can't be scared of it, you have to force stuff in. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with mine. I I don't want to do anything more to it because I know it's going to collapse. Okay, are we ready to see my snowman? My mayonnaise salad snowman. Right, here we go. There we go. Surprise! Ah! A lovely mayonnaise salad snowman with lots of cabbage and olives and stuff. Disgusting. And the thing is, like, imagine if you were going to Christmas lunch or whatever and you said to your family and your friends and everything, oh, by the way, everyone, I've made a really nice edible centerpiece for the Christmas table and you're going to absolutely love it. And they're like, oh, yeah, fantastic, bring it over. And this is what you brought them. You'd be banished. You would literally be banished and you would never be allowed to return ever again. Who would thank you for this? Why did Hellman's think this was a good idea? It's absolutely crazy. But anyway, I'm gonna have a little taste and see what it actually is like, because if it tastes nice, then this might have been worthwhile. It is so gelatinous. I don't think the flavor is gonna be too bad, but I think the texture is gonna be absolutely filthy. But here we go, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to. I really don't want to. It's gonna be fine. It's literally just cheese and mayonnaise and some cabbage. <gasps> Okay, it is not good. It is really not good. It is like, I'm trying to describe, it's just like eating mayonnaise with crunchy bits in it. It's like eating set mayonnaise, like a really gelatinous, jelly textured mayonnaise, quite firm, with a hint of cheese and then chunky bits of cabbage. To be honest, you can't even taste the cabbage anymore because it's just overwhelmingly mayonnaise-y, creamy, with a little bit of cheesiness inside. It is not nice and I would never ever want to eat more than what I've eaten. And to be fair, I don't want to eat that. I want to regurgitate it and spit it back out. It doesn't feel like a meal and it doesn't feel particularly edible, although you can eat it. I don't think you should be eating this and I don't think you should be making this at Christmas. But anyway, I think that just about does it for today's festive episode of Cooking With Ant. <laughs> Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And thank you very much, Lindsay, for recommending this dish to me. I think if there's anything symbolic of what this series is all about, this is it. This is what the series is about. Horrible, weird things like this. And I've also just realised, I completely forgot, that by the time this video comes out, this will be the last time before Christmas I see everyone. So if you do celebrate Christmas, I wish you a very happy Christmas. I hope you have a lovely time. And whatever you do, don't make a mayonnaise snowman. It's not worth it. You'll piss all your family off, which, you know, it might be, it might be a good idea, I don't know. And I will see you after Christmas. I think I'm doing a video on Boxing Day, possibly. I don't know, but I'll, I'll see you when I see you.